So what's happening guys? Back with another supplement review. This is David with Mission the Muscle. Just finished a real good workout. Walked into the gym. Was listening to some motivational music and some motivational speeches. Walked in there. And my life, I live by the 80-20% rule pretty much on everything I do. And in the gym, oh man, it felt good. I walked in there and it was 20% human, 80% beast. Loved it. Really, really good workout. So this pre-workout here that I'm going to review... I looked at the ingredient profile and I was like, man, this thing looks like it hits like Tarzan. But there's a few reviewers out there that say this thing hits like Jane. So I wanted to give you guys my opinion on this pre-workout and who this is pretty much good for. So I'm not here to bash any pre-workouts because we all have something that we're looking for when we're investing our money into our mission to muscle. And some people want pre-workouts that are high-stemmed, crazy, nootropics. And some people don't want like a lot of energy. They want more pump less focus, more focus, less pumps, all different. So I'm here to deliver the information on how these things deliver to help you guys make a good purchase. Right here we got Devastate Global Premium 3D Pump Pre-Workout by Inspired. We'll get right in the ingredient profile and then we'll get into the effects. So we're gonna go off the two scoop dose. This is a one, two scoop, 40, 20. Right on the top here we have 3D Pump Breakthrough, six grams, and half of that is gonna be L-citrulline for the vasodilation and the pumps. And the other half of that dosage, which is going to be three grams left over, is going to be the glycerol and the amla fruit extract, which is going to help with cell volumization and some endurance because amla fruit is supposed to be a cardiotonic. Then we have betaine nitrate at two grams, and that's going to deliver about close to 700 milligrams of nitrates. I think it's like 680 milligrams of nitrates, and the rest is going to be betaine and hydrous pretty much. So we're going to have a gram over left over in this per particular ingredient of betaine and hydrous. And you'll see what, how it falls in as we go down the list here. Then we have Pico 2 at 1 gram. This is a mushroom combination. Uh, it's supposed to help with oxygen deliver, delivery. It's supposed to actually outbeat beta alanine as far as endurance. The only problem is beta alanine you feel right away. And beta alanine you have to be saturated with. And I don't know why they use Pico 2. They could have used L, L of ATP, which hits within 30 minutes. Pico 2, the studies were done off of four grams or higher. And I'm just being honest with you guys. And this is an ingredient they have to be saturated with. So it takes weeks for this actually to fully kick in. And beta alanine is the same, but at least with beta alanine, you feel something. Like you feel something pre-workout. This thing, you just take it and you're just like, okay, I don't feel a damn thing. But anyways, that's the way it's supposed to deliver. You take this, this is considered an everyday pre, so you're going to want to take this pretty much every day, uh, five, six days a week to load your body up with the uh, Pico 2. Then we have betaine and hydrous at one gram. And with the leftover betaine and hydrous from the betaine nitrate, you got a little over two grams of betaine and hydrous in this for that cell volumization, extra cell volumization, power output in the gym. And then we're going to go down to the stem complex here. We got L-tyrosine on the top at one gram. This is a great kind of dopamine and neural adrenaline ingredient to where when the body goes under acute stress we zap our dopamine and zap our noradrenaline and this is supposed to kind of keep it elevated and balanced in the body so you have good cognitive function and you don't get fatigued during training then we have choline which is one gram this is a choline combination of alpha gpc acetylcholine and choline by tartrate i don't know the dosages on this but it's going to give you know, cognitive function, a little bit of energy endurance in the gym. Then we have caffeine and hydrous at 325 milligrams. Decent everyday dosage. Under 350 milligrams per pre-workout, in my opinion, is considered an everyday pre. So 325 is really good. Then we have synap synapsis. Synapsis. <laughs> that's a made up. That's They made that up. Synapsis. That, there's, no, there's no information on Google on this ingredient whatsoever but it is 30 percent of the citrus oranthium which is going to be synephrine which is going to give us it says 132 milligrams it's going to give us about 40 milligrams of synephrine probably which is going to help with fat loss a little bit of energy it's supposed to be comparable to ephedrine is in structure but it does not deliver the energy effects like ephedrine would then we have Dynamine at 125 milligrams, very deceiving ingredient, especially with the way they, lead, they list these things, 40% 40, 40 yielding 25 milligrams. 
So this is actually, in two scoops, it's only 50 milligrams of dynamine, which is the active ingredient. This ingredient actually increases dopamine in the brain for a state of well-being. This ingredient is very similar to caffeine, so it does have some stimulatory effects. On its own, it's like caffeine and theocrine, one-to-one -one ratio put together, depending on the dosage you use, so it's very mild and very dialed down. But when you couple it with caffeine, it's supposed to kind of enhance the cognitive function and the well-being and everything that you get with the caffeine. Then we have theobromine at 50 milligrams, and this is for fat burning, vasodilation, uh, mood. But at 50 milligrams, it's going to deliver a little bit. We always like to see 100 to 200 milligrams in there, but it's going to give something to the actual ingredient profile here and how this thing hits, hopefully. So... Devastate Global Premium 3D Pump Pre-Workout. How did it do? This is the two scoop dose, 16 grams. Very disappointed and inspired because this is the second product I did their FSU review. Second product, I did a flat level scoop and the scoops are over. So two flat level scoops on this thing comes to about 19 grams. And uh, it's supposed to be a 16 gram serving. So you do need a scale to get exact on this. And I don't like seeing that in stemmed products. So very, very disappointed in them on that. But I guess if you take the scoop flat level and you kind of shake it around, you're probably going to get closer to that 16 grams. So don't think you have to pack that scoop up. Um, this is a Malib Malibu Breeze flavor. And I, you're not going to have any problem with it. There's no aftertaste or bitterness to it I, I didn't taste so but of course i'm not a a taste connoisseur like opera man fitness but it was good i'm not don't really care about taste as long as it doesn't make me gag or throw up but it was very very decent this goes for i believe it's about the 45 dollar 45 dollar mark and uh, sub kings has this if you're interested i do have that 15 percent off code which works on everything on their site go ahead and use it save yourself a few bucks if it's something you're interested in we're going to dive right into the pumps and get that out of the way. Pumps are insane. So you will get vasodilation. You do not need a pump, need a pump formula on this. I mean, you can. You can stack some pills on this. I was going to stack F FSU on this, but, you know, you got so many nitrates in these things that I just didn't want to overdo it and have my blood pressure drop. And then all of a sudden the energy that I wanted to feel is shot because my blood pressure is low and it's kind of combating the energy effects. So I stuck with just this product itself and the pumps were fabulous. So you're gonna get cell swelling, you're gonna get tightness, and you're gonna get vasodilation. Nothing insane, just very, very well-rounded with the 3D pump breakthrough and the betaine nitrates. Very, very good combination. So the, getting that out of the way, that's probably the, the best, This is the that's the shiner of this pre-workout. That's where it shines, pumps. So very, very, very good. Getting into the energy on this thing. So how this thing delivers. You're going to take the two scoops. And I'd say about 20, 25 minutes, you're going to start feeling a little bit of energy coming in. Whether it's the dynamine and some of these other ingredients. Or it's the caffeine. I'm assuming it's the caffeine. It's going to start coming in at 20, 25 minutes. Right around 35 minutes, and I noticed this only because I had my headphones in, I was listening to some music, and at first I was listening to, to my music, and I was just kind of like, you know, just listening to it, and about 35 minutes in, I started catching myself, you know, like doing the bobbin, and, and I was saying to myself, oh, I got a little well-being with the music, so I'm going to take the headphones off and see if the well-being's still there as I get finished getting ready and getting off to the gym, took the headphones off, didn't feel the well-being at that time, like just moving around but when i put the headphones in the music sounded clearer and there was more of a like you know that dialed in kind of feeling where you're just like oh yeah music's making me feel good it's kind of bringing me together getting ready for the gym so there is a small bit of well-being that you're going to get from this thing energy is like a the energy you're going to get on this is like a an energy drink like a monster um like one of the big monsters there and it it's it's sustainable it lasts for two hours for sure dials down real easy but it's not like a heavy hitter this is not a stem junkie pre and it's not insane it like i said energy drink energy so if you've had an energy drink that has two to three hundred milligrams of caffeine that's pretty much what you're going to feel as far as the energy enough to get the job done if you're motivated if you got enough sleep and if you don't need a lot of caffeine some of us do some of us don't. Some days I do. Some days I'm fine. Just depends on the sleep I got and how I am up here. So focus, 
Last thing on this thing, focus is very, very decent. So this is not like a dialed in tunnel vision, hazy focus. This is that upper up level, upper level focus that you get. Like if you took a study ingredient to where you had the choline sources and stuff, if you've ever taken one of those to where, you know, memory, cognitive function and thought process is elevated. So you're elevated, but it's not like intense enough to actually give you that mind, like a really intense mind muscle connection. It's more of an awakeness that kind of couples with the low caffeine at the same time. and just kind of gives you the smooth focus and energy throughout. And in my opinion, I believe the energy and the focus, focus is probably a, a little bit higher. So this is going to go pumps, are insane. So this is very, this is a very good pump product. Then it'll be focus and energy right below that as far as the way it delivers. It is an everyday pre, got an everyday feel, got a healthy feel to it. So if that's something you're looking for, then definitely this would be a great purchase and a great buy for you. If it's not, then move on to something else. Get something that's more stimulated to stimulate your body to get you moving in the gym. So this is Dave with Mission the Muscle. I hope this helped. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave it down below. I'll be glad to answer it. Other than that, if you can give the video a thumbs up before you leave, that would be awesome. It does help the channel. And we will, I'm going to get off to work. We'll see you next time.